Your face shape, skin, hairstyle, eyes, lips, facial hair, and your mindset, these are the seven main factors that directly affect your facial attractiveness. The best part is that you have control over all of them, and in this video, as a medical student, I'll share the newest methods for improving each of these factors. Number 1. Face Shape The idea of attractiveness has always been an intriguing aspect of human sociology and psychology. Every culture and ethnic group possesses its own distinct perspective on what facial attributes they regard as beautiful. For example, a strong jawline and prominent cheekbones with well-groomed facial hair are considered attractive in India, while a V-shaped jawline and double eyelids with a clean-shaven face are seen as attractive in Eastern Asia. But the only factor that is attractive everywhere, every time, is facial balance. Here's what I mean by that. You might feel like your nose is too big, but maybe the actual problem is your narrow jaw, which causes the imbalance and makes your nose look bigger. A face is divided into three zones, the upper third, the middle third, and the lower third. A generally balanced face should not have one of these thirds significantly larger or smaller than the others. A visually balanced face is approximately 1.6 times longer than it is wide. If you have a narrow lower face, you can train your masseter muscles by chewing tough sugar-free gum or fibrous foods like raw vegetables and nuts. This will make your lower face bigger and wider. If you have a recessed middle face, also known as an underbite, braces, face pulling, and mewing can be helpful, consult your orthodontist about it. Excessive facial fat can also cause imbalance in your face. Doing cardiovascular exercises like running, cycling, and jogging for 30 minutes a day can help you lose 1 to 2 kilograms of fat a month, including facial fat. Number 2. Hairstyle. The reason why you immediately hate your hair as soon as you leave the barber's chair, is because you don't care about your face shape when you choose a hairstyle. A common guideline is that your hairstyle should help balance any facial imbalances. If you have round face, don't go for styles that have no corners, try classic side parting, bed head and tapers. Or if you have a more angular face shape, your hairstyle needs to be more flattering like buzz cut or undercut. You also want to have healthy hair, don't wash your hair with extremely cold or hot water, choose the right shampoo for your hair type, use conditioner after shampooing, get your hair cut regularly and add more omega-3 sources like salmon, flax seed, yogurt and cereal to your diet. Number 3. Eyes. You want to have sharp, well-rested and white eyes. Nafazoline eye drops is helpful to relieve redness due to minor eye irritations, such as those caused by colds, dust, wind, smog, pollen, swimming, or wearing contact lenses. Make sure to consult your doctor. Get around 7 to 8 hours of sleep a day to avoid tired eyes and eye bags in the next morning. Soak green tea bags in the cold water, then place them on your eyes for around 10 minutes, the antioxidants in the green tea help to reduce the darkness under your eyes, and the cold compression will reduce the puffiness under your eyes. Your eyebrows can dramatically change the appearance of your face, full and thick eyebrows look more masculine and attractive. Warm up a small amount of coconut or rosemary oil in your hands and massage it into the eyebrow area. You can leave the oil on overnight and wash it off in the morning. This will make your eyebrows fuller and thicker. Don't forget to groom your eyebrows. Imagine a line from your nostril to your brow bone, that's where your eyebrows should start, trace a line from the tip of your nose to the outer corner of your eye, that's the point where your eyebrow should end. Number 4. Facial hair. A well-trimmed and groomed beard adds character to the personality, and gives a more manly appearance. According to researches, women found the same man more attractive with a 10-day stubble than clean-shaven. To achieve it, first let your beard grow out, then set your trimmer between 3 to 5 millimeters, trim your beard in the direction of hair growth. Move the trimmer slowly and evenly across your entire beard, for defining your beard's proper neckline say the letter N and wherever your Adam's apple stops, is where your neckline should be, and for the cheek line draw a line from your ear tragus to the corner of your mouth and shave any stray hairs outside these borders with a razor, or the naked blade of your trimmer. 
Use olive oil and avocado oil to growing thicker and fuller beard, having balanced diet including lean protein, liver as a source of iron, whole grains, nuts, fruits and vegetables, will help you in growing a beard. Number 5. Skin. If you live in a polluted city or if you have a very oily skin, I recommend you to try double cleansing three times a week. Apply an oil-based cleanser and massage your face for 30 seconds, rinse your face with lukewarm water then follow up with a water-based cleanser to deep clean your skin. But if you have dry or a sensitive skin, a gentle cleanser alone would be sufficient. In summer, we use less moisturizer due to higher humidity. As the colder months approach, it's time to introduce heavier face moisturizers into your routine. Look for a moisturizer with ingredients like hyaluronic acid, glycerin, or ceramides. Don't forget to use a sunscreen with an SPF of at least 30, 15 minutes before going outside. For dry skin, cream sunscreens work best, lotion sunscreens are good for normal skin, while gels work best on oily skin. Add carrots to your diet, carrots contain high levels of beta-carotene, vitamin A, and antioxidants which improves your skin tone, the vitamin C in carrots also contributes to collagen production. In cold seasons, run a humidifier in your home to prevent your skin from drying out. Number 6. Lips. Soft, full-looking lips are attractive, but keeping your lips hydrated and healthy is most important. Apply a good quality lip balm containing shea butter, cocoa butter, and coconut oil before you go to sleep, and after waking up, use a damp washcloth or a toothbrush to gently rub off any dead or dry skin. Just like your skin, your lips are also prone to damage from sun exposure, make sure you're using a lip balm with an SPF ingredient like zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Use a pure aloe vera gel for moisturizing your lips. For brighter lips, rub a few drops of lemon juice on your lips, just make sure your lips aren't cracked or super dry before you use this remedy, as it may sting and make things worse. Mix 1 tablespoon of baking soda with 2 tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide to make a paste. Rinse your mouth thoroughly with water after brushing with this paste, this is the golden tip for whitening your teeth. Number 7. Mindset. The results we talked about in this video won't happen overnight. You need to stay consistent with each tip for at least one month. Disappear for one month, reject all distractions, and focus on improving yourself. Remember that progress can be slow, but every effort counts. I want you to develop a glow-up mindset after finishing this video and strive towards becoming the best version of yourself. I hope it helps. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. And if you want to learn how to improve your facial shape check out these videos on the channel. I'll see you in the next one.